Hey everyone, Kachi Vester back to another video for today. So let's talk about a buy now pay later company called Affirm. You probably heard about that company, especially recently because of the various partnerships that they have announced and because of the great recent earnings report, which we're going to cover in this video later on as well. But first, I want to explain in short what Affirm does, what differentiates them from their competitors such as Klarna, Afterpay, PayPal, and especially credit cards. Now, Affirm offers buy now, pay later services, but it requires customers to pay interest to finance their purchases. They'll do a credit check and then it will offer financing from 0% up to 30%. Now, because they require you to pay interest on their financing, they will not charge any late fees. That means that when you go to a checkout and you choose Affirm as a payout option, you know exactly how much you're going to pay and you're not going to pay one penny more in the future. Now, what are the positives here as a merchant or as a shopper like myself? So let's take Peloton, for example, because Peloton is one of their largest merchants. So Peloton offers a firm's buy now, pay later product, which means that me, if I want to buy a Peloton bike, let's say before they reduce the price, $2,000 was a lot of money. But now that I can pay that $2,000 in 24 months, 36 months with 0% interest, I might think twice and actually buy the bike. So it's great for the company because that means that me, who wouldn't really buy that bike if there wasn't an option to buy now and pay later, they're actually having a larger total order value because if I buy more stuff, then obviously that order increases. And me as a shopper, I get to pay in a couple of installments with 0% interest or maybe up to 30% interest depending on that credit check. So as a shopper, I do like to see a website offering various services for me to pay. And obviously if it offers a buy now pay later product, that's better and especially one that offers 0% interest. Now the buy now pay later world is still in its early innings. Yes, there are already a couple of big companies in that segment, such as Klarna, PayPal, Afterpay, which was acquired by Square. Again, I'm still to do a video on that merger. Just bear with me. I promise you it's going to be a very, very good one. Now, besides those players, the other big players are obviously Visa and Mastercards, credit cards, because Visa Mastercards, if you go through a spending cycle, let's say, there's me, there is the issuing bank, there is Visa or Mastercard, then there is the acquiring bank, and then there is the merger. So Visa or Mastercard are between two banks. They don't know what I'm buying and they don't know who I'm buying from. Here comes a buy now, pay later product. They know exactly what I'm buying, who I'm buying from. So they're gathering way more data and way more crucial data than usual credit cards. And obviously they also offer better rates. Well, sometimes at least. So I hope that right now this little summary makes it more clear to what a firm does and how it differentiates from their customers. Now, before I jump into the announcements and their earnings report, I just want to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately on the way to 18,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, I would really appreciate it if you leave it a early thumbs up as it really helps me out grow the channel and get my videos out there. I would also like to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. And again, these are my views and my views only. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me find the latest growth stock and innovative company. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services, The Fool Offers. Through The Motley Fool's Stock Advisor service, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock Advisor's average stock picks have returned over 500%. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more this year, you can visit www.fool.com slash couch investor or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if Stock Advisor is right for you. Now let's dive into this. All right, now let's talk about the announcement. First, we had the announcement of Apple Canada, which took the stock up almost 20% after that announcement. So Apple affirmed to join on buy now, pay later for Canadian purchases. What does that mean? Well, it means that this service will let iPhone, Mac and iPad buyers in Canada pay for purchases over 12 or 24 months instead of in full at the time of the transaction. Apple told staff it will offer the program interest-free for a limited time after the launch. 
Now Apple selling premium products, this obviously makes sense, but as of now, this is just in Canada. Maybe in the future, we might see this being offered in United States, maybe in Europe as well. Now the second announcement is the one that took the stock up 50% and that's the one with Amazon. So Amazon partners with a firm to deliver pay over time option at checkout. As a result of this partnership, select Amazon customers now have the option to split the total cost of purchases of $50 or more into simple monthly payments by using a firm. Approved customers are shown the total cost of the purchase upfront and will never pay more than what they agree to at checkout. As always, when choosing a firm, customers will not be charged by any late or hidden fees. This will obviously benefit a firm way more than it does Amazon, but who knows, maybe Amazon might start selling more expensive stuff and offering a buy now pay later service is certainly a great option. Now for a firm, this means that suddenly their service is being offered to thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of merchants and users on Amazon. They really couldn't have chosen a bigger e-commerce partner because maybe you know, maybe you don't, but a firm also offers a buy now pay later service through ShopPay, which is Shopify's payment method. Now enough with all the partnerships, let's talk about some numbers. They had great earnings, a great quarter, and certainly a great future ahead of them. So they reported accelerated Q4 GMV growth to 106% and total revenue growth to 71% year over year. Now what's even more impressive is that they expanded their network by nearly doubling active customers and growing active merchants by 400% year over year. Now they're also expecting fiscal year 2022 GMV growth of at least 50% or 70% excluding Peloton. And this is also prior to any benefit from the recently announced Amazon partnership. So we can obviously expect this number to be way higher. Now the actual number of the GMV we mentioned above was $2.5 billion. And for the fiscal year, that was $8.3 billion, an increase of 79% or 91% excluding Peloton. Active users grew 97% to 7.1 million. Their active merchants grew by 412% to nearly 29,000. Those are including several thousand newly integrated Shopify merchants. The transaction per customer increased just 8% to approximately 2.3. Now management expects revenue to grow approximately 35% in fiscal year 2022, driven by GMV growth of close to 50% to a midpoint of $12.6 billion for fiscal year 2022. So overall to conclude, great numbers, great quarter, great future ahead of them. And they're not even including the Amazon partnership as of today. They might be raising guidance in the future, but as of now, they're very, very conservative. And to me, to be honest, the future is extremely bright for a firm and their results will just improve over time. And this also increases my confidence in Square and Afterpay as well. Obviously, Afterpay is a bit different to a firm. They also offer a couple of other services, which makes them extremely, extremely powerful and extremely well positioned in that buy now, pay later field. Right now, as you might know, I do not own any Affirm shares. I do not plan on buying any Affirm shares in the future. Although I do think they have a bright future. I already own Square, which is my second biggest position after Tesla. And since Square bought Afterpay, there's no reason for me to buy another buy now, pay later player. So there is that. Hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if any of you actually own Affirm shares, maybe other buy now pay later companies, maybe PayPal, Square, let me know down in the comments below. And that will be it for this video. If you liked it, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. As always guys, take care, stay safe and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.